Hello and welcome to my video diaries from our family trip to Switzerland this summer. For this video I decided that I'm going to do a mixture of voiceover and talking in the video because I didn't get to vlog as much as I would have liked and I want to fill in some of the gaps that may have occurred. So this first video is just going to cover Zurich and any surrounding towns that we went to. It'll be about three to four days. And we're gonna start off now when we just arrived in Zurich, jet lagged, tired, but really excited for the trip. Hang on every word, hang on every moment. I know you're in between now and I know you can't stay. Give me one more rising sun, just one more setting moment. It felt so bright. We made it. We are officially. We are officially in Switzerland. We are outside of the Airbnb, waiting for three. Your it's mom. now 2.17. I'm surrounded by bags. I'm really hot right now, I'm overheating. We're in the Airbnb. That's Maria. Hey. We are gonna take showers now and get changed because we're all disgusting from the plane. The Airbnb is really nice. Here's the, the tour. Let's do a tour. Over there is the kitchen. Here's like the dining room area. Master bedroom with two beds. Bathroom. And we have a little patio outside. Here you have the little bathroom. And then you have this is a pull out couch that I guess you're gonna sleep on. So um, it's really nice. It's really big. Like they use the space very well and it's kind of hot because I don't have air conditioning, but you know, whatever. So I'm gonna take a shower now because I'm disgusting and sweaty. And then we're gonna see what we can do because it's Sunday, so basically everything's closed. So we're gonna have to go out to eat, but we're in Switzerland, so whatever happens. This was our first official day in Zurich. It was a really informal walking around day where we really got to fall in love with being tourists again in an unknown place. As we explored the cobblestone streets and the plazas and just took the time to see as much as we could on foot. It's really interesting how different European culture is and that life is just enjoyed at a much slower pace. So we really got to indulge in the joy of doing nothing on this day. hungry and we found this little Italian restaurant on the side of the street where they make a bunch of dishes in front of you we really didn't know how it worked they just gave us these cards but we ordered everything that we wanted to eat and we waited while they made it and then we just took it outside to eat on the terrace I still stand by that this is one of the best meals that I had in Switzerland because I love pasta and it was perfectly al dente and it was just the sustenance we needed after our day of walking. Yeah. 
just holding this water bottle. It's a glass water bottle with no cap. I'm just holding it. No cap. She's probably gonna fall asleep in two minutes. Today was just going to see the center of Zurich and walking around. We really didn't do anything because a lot of the stores were closed because it's Sunday. I was pleasantly surprised by Switzerland. In love with it. I It's like a dream. We were gonna go to bed and I wasn't gonna film anymore, but something really interesting happened. It's 10.13. In this room, we have a pull-out couch and it was in couch position when we got here. So we took off all the couch covers and then it wouldn't go flat. We spent 25 minutes literally sweating in this hot room trying to figure out how to do it. And then it would like bang on the ground. It would be like, it would just fall. And then I, I was like, okay, well, I'm giving up. Like I'm literally giving up. We're sleeping on the couch. I'm done. And then I just tried to like push it up together. That's all I needed to do. But we had, it was a hassle. Ray, look at me. Hi, let's see it. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's borrowed here today? Maria is wearing shoes. dad's shoes. Mom is wearing Maria's shoes. I'm wearing mom's shoes. <laughs> but Baita wearing all of his own clothes. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Hey, are you excited? Wait, what are we doing today? Bunda. <laughs> jet lagged and had all been awake from 1 to 4 in the morning due to the time change, we headed out early to enjoy the day and took the train to the center of Zurich. We had no plans, no expectations, we just went wherever the day took us. <laughs> Flipping through the travel book as we rested our legs, we stumbled upon the Lint Chocolate Factory, which turned out to only be a few minutes away by bus. We signed up to do some self-guided tours and use this as a blessed excuse to get away from the heat. Why, what are we, where are we going? Home of chocolate. What are we gonna do? Chocolate. Okay. <laughs> Eat chocolate. Finally got to the best part, the tasting. Nothing here changed, seasons go by. Said it all, said it loud.
after the tour ended, we took the bus back to the center of Zurich and sat by the lake for a little as we watched the people relaxing on their boats. We started to look for a place to eat dinner, which turned out to be quite a challenge because one of us has a more sophisticated palate. We walked around in circles for over an hour and went in and out of two restaurants before finally deciding on this one. Wait, how are you doing? Oh, wow. Why? <laughs> what does it have? Pepper. <laughs> Holy shoot, man. <laughs> We're at Hot Ones. It will send this footage for Hot Ones. <laughs> What's the rating? Do we like it? Yeah, I just can't feel my lips. Like, I can't feel like I can't talk right now. Is the chili? Good morning! Hi, what do you got there? Last today. Lifesaver. Why is that for you? No. For who? This is for you. For me? Yeah, you need you need you need some movement. You need some movement. <laughs> poopy? Poopy like that. <laughs> poopy in my head. You After a quick one hour train ride, we arrived in Lucerne with much hope for what the day would bring. This turned out to be one of the prettiest locations that we visited during the trip and we spent the morning wandering around and hitting the major tourist spots. The center of the city, the chapel bridge, the lion monument, the Jesuit church, etc. I'd find me a place where I could stay. If I give me a wave. Such a great trip. La 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 Place I'd feel loose. Some place I could. Aww, when you can. These ten. In the evening, we stumbled across these little paddle boats that you could take out on the water for half an hour for really cheap. So we decided to go out on the lake for a little bit before dinner. Marie and I did most of the heavy lifting while my parents sat in the back and enjoyed the beautiful view. 